When you think of computer science, what comes into mind? You might picture a prototypical hacker pulled from the movies, some guy in a hoodie in a basement, eyes locked onto a black and green screen filled with ones and zeros. Or maybe you looked into some intro to CS videos and you found material like this. Write a recursive algorithm to sort a list of numbers in order n log n operations. Maybe your eyes glazed over a bit and you thought, why does this matter? Or could I really make it through four years of this? Good point. Sorting algorithms, binary trees, databases, Boolean logic, all of this can seem pretty arbitrary and pretty dry when it's introduced without context. But it all becomes incredibly beautiful when you look into the heart of computer science. And what lies at the heart of computer science is creation. Modern computer science dates back to the 19th century. Ada Lovelace and Charles Babbage wanted to create a thinking machine, a machine that could solve problems and reason about the world the way that we do. Together, they came up with a design for the first computer and the first computer algorithm. Lovelace and Babbage, Turing, Shannon, von Neumann, all of the first computer scientists were a bunch of creative eccentrics who were inspired by the human brain. They wanted to figure out the logic and mathematics underlying human thought and extend the powers of our minds with physical devices. Now, in the 21st century, we've done just that. We've entered the digital renaissance. Now each of us has the entirety of human knowledge in our pockets. We can pull out our smartphones and access everything that's ever been written, every song that's ever been recorded. We can FaceTime with our friends across the globe in seconds. All of that is powered by computer science. Now, if you wanted to be a creator in the 19th century, you might have tried to get really good with a paintbrush or a wrench or a hammer. In this age, you want to get really good with programming. Computer science is the language of creation in the 21st century. Say you want to help organize communities for political action. Well, you might design an app to help people gather around local problems. Or maybe you care about creating more effective and targeted medicines. Well, in this day and age, you'll find yourself building computer simulations of molecules to design drugs. Or if you're excited about ecology and urban planning, you might find yourself using AI to build self-driving cars or design materials for harnessing solar energy. Maybe you're an artist and you want to build an immersive art installation that adapts to the input of the viewers. Well, you might find yourself programming your art in code. Or if you want to build prosthetics, you might find yourself using machine learning to decode neurons in the brain. Now, and even more so in the future, computer science will be weaved into every scientific field, every artistic discipline, every career. If you're excited to create or design the future, computer science is your language.